Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from the developer community. Our viewer asks, is it possible to use the C-sharp interactive window instead of the immediate window in Visual Studio 2017? This question highlights a key difference between two powerful tools available to developers. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. The C-sharp interactive window is indeed more feature-rich than the immediate window. However, many developers wonder if they can load the debug context into it during a debugging session. To use the interactive window during debugging, you need to ensure that you have the right setup in Visual Studio 2017. First, open your project and start debugging. Once you are in a debugging session, you can open the interactive window by navigating to the menu. Click on View, then Other Windows, and select c -sharp Interactive. Now to load the current debug context, you can use the debug menu. Select Windows and then Immediate. This allows you to evaluate expressions in the context of your current debugging session. In summary, while the interactive window does not automatically load the debug context, you can still use it alongside the immediate window to enhance your debugging experience in Visual Studio 2017. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, you can use the C-Sharp Interactive window instead of the immediate window in Visual Studio 2017. First, initialize the interactive with your project. After that, Connect to the interactive host.exe process to debug functions from your project. This method has been confirmed to work in Visual Studio 2019 as well. I hope that's found the resolution that you're looking for and you managed to work your way through your issue. Please, if it did help, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next technical time you need help, have a good one.